and we are back yes guys so our guest today is one of us hey she is beautiful yeah she goes by the name joyce omondi wahiga yes welcome yes i love you <laughs> joyce you. why have you brought such gorgeousness to our set she's so pretty oh, <laughs> no you are you're so beautiful you thank are you, you. Thank oh you so yes. much. it's a pleasure to be here yeah i know and welcome to switch mm -hmm. tv you're As now a part of us you guys are pretty high <laughs> yeah, no, today you'll be our I'm, I'm an introvert yeah. so you know uh, it, yeah i will oh. I will so, turn down the conversation. Yeah, yeah. you will. You <laughs> will, because that's me over here. I know. <laughs> oh, so, Joyce, yes. yeah, has um, your new show on uh, Full Circle, yeah? Yes. Tell us about it. So I'm about so it. excited about Full Circle with mm -hmm. Joyce. Mm -hmm. It's a talking lifestyle show. Um, and basically, the whole aim of it is to bring genuine, authentic conversations mm -hmm. that can be transformative in people's lives. Mm -hmm. So we talk about all sorts of things, health, mm -hmm. personal development, um, relationships, marriage and parenting. So it's really fun. And uh, mm -hmm. today has been our fourth day. Yay! So, uh, Yay! <laughs> so your first <laughs> week. <laughs> It's been awesome. I mean, I'm, I'm excited to be doing this show mm -hmm. and just, you know, to talk. And I mm -hmm. think a lot of people just have a lot of questions. Yeah. They're looking up to women, you know, mm -hmm. trying to find women that they can uh, resonate with. So it, it really is a humbling honor. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so how long before, before um, it's okay. yeah, um, how long have you been off TV? Oh gosh. Now that you're back. Oh yeah, girl. <laughs> mm. It's been a minute. Yeah. Yeah. It's and been a really long minute. minute. <laughs> you were just I on know. last week and it was no, just a one oh week goodness. breather. It's actually been, uh, oh, it will be six years this year since I was uh, mm. back on TV. Yeah. So um, I used to host something else and then I decided to leave to go to do my master's. Mm -hmm. Um, and then came back, was getting married, yes. was working, <laughs> was doing all sorts of things. So, um, I mean, there have been opportunities that have come along, but I, I personally believe it's very important to understand that not every opportunity is the right mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's wisdom, it is discipline, it is self-love and value to, mm -hmm. to know which opportunities you should take yeah. and which ones you should leave behind. Mm -hmm. That's that's amazing that's, yeah, that you said that because a lot mm -hmm. of young people, as you said, just go for opportunities without thinking of what yeah. she's just yeah. said. And yeah. um, on that note, tell us about your last album. Yes. And um, your current project. Thank you. Yay. So um, I released my second album mm -hmm. uh, in 2017. It's called Spirit vs. Soul. Mm -hmm. And it's basically, you know, saying that music will always take you where it's come from. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for me, I'm a believer. I love Jesus with all my heart. Yes, and amen. for me, I just feel I have a responsibility to lead people as a worship leader to the throne room. And so that's what the album is about. Um, the singles have been Perfect Gift, you've released Lihimidi, Jabali, mm -hmm. Satisfy, which is on yes. my birthday. And coming soon yeah. is my next single called Tumaini. Uh, oh, awesome. Yeah. But it's Satisfy, it's just about uh, texting, talking about the way they love Satisfy. Oh, thank and you. I have a question over here is how do you maintain your natural? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes. You have you I have saw you last week goals. in your Canaturalista. Yeah. Your hair is wow. It's so amazing. It's <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, it's so funny with this whole natural hair thing because you just start like you're just trying to do your thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but then there's so much interest in it. It's funny because now even on the show, um, people are like, Don't wear weaves, mm. don't wear wigs, we want to see your natural <laughs> hair. I, I know. Like, Calm down, I everybody. Know. <laughs> I know once you go natural it's like you know yeah you're on that team yeah but i mean i can't leave it out every day just it's gonna get damaged but um it's actually it's like three four years now since mm -hmm. i went natural, natural. Mm -hmm. and uh, it's been a good journey i think uh i had relaxed hair before mm -hmm. um but i've always loved big hair so chris tracy's just giving me the vibe I've always loved big hair and mm -hmm. I used to hate when I relax my hair mm -hmm. and then it's like it's like flat you know like it's just completely flat on my scalp mm -hmm. so um, natural hair has been an interesting journey just learning how to take care of it the secret is just be gentle with your hair yeah. mm -hmm. and patience mm -hmm. it doesn't uh, grow patience. into a bush <laughs> <Yes>. overnight patience. <laughs> patience. I think that's the key word <laughs> yeah, I'm Good. telling you questions are a lot so there's someone saying here how did you maintain in losing weight in losing weight mm -hmm. um so 
Well, hmm. I've not been very consistent. <laughs> <laughs> start there. But I think uh, really, I started doing gym a bit last year. Mm -hmm. um, but before that, what really helped me lose a lot of weight was just diet. Mm -hmm. um, and they actually tell you that 80% of it is diet, diet. and 20% mm -hmm. is working out. Although I don't think I've, I mean, maybe you've lost maybe five kgs in the last like two years mm -hmm. or so. So it's not dramatic, but it's enough to, you know, Give my body some <laughs> carbs at the right yeah, place. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and you look good. I mean? yeah. yeah, and then like, so I mean, I've always had a smaller waist thanks to my mom. Mm -hmm. And then Jaluo hips have to represent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know, when I was growing up, I was a tomboy. So mm -hmm. I absolutely hated dresses. Mm -hmm. um, I never liked you know being curvy. I grew up with like white people. I went to school with mm -hmm. Americans and stuff. And girl you know they don't have nothing down no, here so, <laughs> i mean it really affected my self-esteem mm -hmm. but i think you know i'm just at a point where you know what i'm fearfully and wonderfully made you are this is who i am and yes. so i'm just gonna embrace it i know <laughs> all right joyce i have to ask you this oh, um, on finding love and settling down <laughs> why, wait, why, why do you have to say it like that on finding uh, yes love. because <laughs> i know i have to ask you joyce i was at your wedding girl yes. it was amazing yes, yes. and yes you happen to be married to my cousin so I have to ask this. Um, how did you find love? How did you settle down with him? <laughs> you got? Um, let me tell you something. You know, before I met Twai, he got honestly, I was I'm like a G chick, okay? <laughs> I was not thinking about marriage, was not thinking about relationships. Mm -hmm. I was very comfortable in my mind getting married at 30 or later. Mm -hmm. um, at that time, there were just dudes around. Mm -hmm. So I remember one time um, someone calling me at like 1 a.m. And I'm the type of chick, like, I'm traditional. I'm like, a gentleman does not call, call a lady past 9 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. You know? <laughs> so the yeah. next day I was going to church. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what I was. I had, like, an interview or something. And Wahiga's brother happened to be a youth pastor at my church. Mm -hmm. So after the meeting, these guys are just like, so is there anything else you want to talk about? And I'm like, well, <laughs> now that you mention yeah. it, <laughs> I'm like, the church needs to do more in <laughs> teaching young men how to relate with women. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know what happened. I literally just went off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I just, you know, exploded. But um, <laughs> the day before my birthday, even my best friend was just like, hey, babes, you know those conversations for 3 a.m.? Yeah. 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 She's like, so would you be willing, I mean, would you be open to having a relationship? Like, yeah. it was that bad. Yeah, was my that friend bad. and my mom were just like, hey, Lord, we need to pray for this girl. <laughs> um, yeah. But anyway, I met Wahiga on my birthday party after, like, just, you know, him trying to get to know me. And uh, he invited me to his birthday party after mm -hmm. he saw me on Raoka. Um, his brother that day that I told you I went and vented, yeah. went home and was just like, wow, there's this chick in our church. I think she's totally your type. <laughs> <laughs> after venting. And Rahiga was like, what do you mean? I don't need your help. I can find my own woman. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> then I started this TV show and he was watching. They used to live together. Mm -hmm. And then he's just, he calls his brother, he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Ibu, come check out this chick on TV. Mm -hmm. So the bro comes and like, this is the babe I've been talking about. <laughs> so he's like, look me up. This is the <laughs> so it was Gibwino who actually did all so this. So he, I mean, we have to give him some credit. Because yeah. he didn't yeah. mention the name. So that's when now uh, he got his birthday came up. And he literally invited the entire production crew for oh, my show yeah. to the party thinking at we hang out all the time mm -hmm. and i'd show of course like, i yeah. didn't <laughs> so i didn't show up then my first song came out conqueror and he started tweeting me like publicly not dm uh, not even dm you got a love bowl yeah! 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 my new celebrity crush is joyce amonti why he got well, not oh, that 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 but joyce you <laughs> You're so, so used to it. Maybe you should be proud of that. Wow! It comes so naturally. <laughs> Wait, the first three months when I saw you. I know. I know. Yeah. The first three months when I saw you. Yeah, you can't forget. Um, but yeah, so, you know, he tweeted me after that and then I just responded and then re invited him to my birthday party. And he came and that was like the time we actually met. Mm. And then the rest, as they say, is it's history. history. Yeah. <laughs> Get it from Joyce. The people who say that you find uh, Christian women in weddings. <laughs> You find them in the birthday party. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, it could be I'm either. Just, I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> No, but that's amazing. I think you guys also a couple a lot of people look up to. So thank you so much for sharing your story. That was so nice. And you know, we're never that serious. We always have a segment where we play some games, you know. Then it depends on the day and who's around and when we're going to play the game. So right about now, we're going to go on to game spots. Okay. Don't be worried.
<laughs> so today we're gonna be doing Would You Rather. Okay. Would, Would you, you rather? rather? Would you rather? Would you okay. rather what? <clears throat> Would you rather? Let me start. Eat mm -hmm. everything you see or lick everything you see. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> Ah. What sort of games y'all play here on Shots What is this? Ooh. Is this allowed? <laughs> I don't want Ezekiel to throw on my face. I'm sorry, it's just allowed. It's allowed <laughs> here. <Yeah>. So, <laughs> yeah, we. would you rather eat or lick everything you see? I feel like I would have to. I'll. Ooh. Mm, I might like lick it just to see yeah, if I, I like just, it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if that's not, then I'll like it. Like, 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 this yeah. is nice. <laughs> Would you rather have a Lamborghini in your garage or a bo bookcase with 9,000 books and infinity knowledge? Infinity knowledge oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. A Lamborghini That's is going to depreciate. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it starts to be yeah. And that's the other thing you need to tell ladies in this Nairobi. Don't be looking at what a man has right mm. now. Mm -hmm. It's about his potential. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And the, he probably got it on credit anyways. And, yeah. and then he's in debt. And then he's in debt. <laughs> yeah. True story. Very, true story. Very true. <laughs> no, this is interesting. Would you rather look like a fish? Or smell like a fish. Hey. <laughs> There's some fish that are pretty. No smell. I would, no, I would yeah, know. Yeah. Ain't no nobody want to smell like no yeah, fish. Yeah, hey. look like yeah. one. I'd rather look because then I'll just <laughs> pout all day. Yeah. <laughs> you pout and there's some fish that are pretty. So hey. I'm going to laugh. <laughs> okay, Noni. Would you rather know how you, you will die or when you will die? Oh my God, neither uh, of those two <laughs> things. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Joy? <laughs> when I die or how I die? How how you'll die or when you oh. die? Well, I'm not afraid of death because mm -hmm. um, I know where I'm going. Hallelujah! Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hey, but <laughs> <laughs> I am afraid of how, how I die. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I keep yeah, telling yeah. Jesus, I'm like, Lord Jesus, yeah. just the sudden ways I girl yeah, can't go out like that. Like, like, I can't go like, like that. that. I don't want to pay you to death. Or your body is in part. Those kind of yeah, things. No. No. <laughs> yeah. So, would you rather be trapped for an hour in a room full of mosquitoes or ah. rats? Oh my God! <gasps> Neither. <laughs> oh, mosquitoes. Can I just hey, pray I for the rapture to happen? I, don't I, don't I can't do either. Because the thing with mosquitoes, rat? Are you serious? Oh. You know, rats. You can just put yourself somewhere like this, and then they're just down there. But mosquitoes, oh, it's mosquitoes deep, 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 <laughs> deep, everywhere. Yeah, so here's the thing. Apparently, <laughs> mosquitoes. They are attracted to certain blood types, yeah, they right? Are. Yeah, so my husband and I have type. different blood types. I am the one who gets bit <laughs> in a line, like <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, and they will just skip him. It's true, <laughs> so they do. They skip yeah. some. Oh, you see them hovering over somebody's head yeah. and they leave yes. everyone. You wonder why? I, think I so, never knew that. Yeah. But I, don't yeah, know. I think I have that blood type. Yeah. We yeah. share. We have the same. Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> the bitings I get. I, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Would you rather speak all languages or be able to speak to all animals? Wow, I wish I could speak to you. That's an Nyonge language. Like Sophia the first. No, you didn't. No, she did not. Oh my God. Oh my God. I definitely like rather speak the language. Yeah. This is interesting. Huh? Would you rather look young and feel old or look old and feel young? Wow. Hmm. Look young and feel old. But look old and feel young. Look old and feel young. I guess, yeah, oh, you yeah. can do stuff to... If I'm looking young and feeling old. No. Really? No. I you think old, old and feel old. young. Feel young, because, you know, that's your joy. You can yeah. always, you know, put on some makeup, fix yeah. your hair, something. Start dancing, you feel young. <laughs> <laughs> make so you, I, it makes I, you look younger. So on Facebook, I have a question say, um, Iman James says, Ask a kama and get paper for say, akubadilisha kitu kimoja kwenye Tanzania ya mziki inge nini? Wow. Um, as a musician, I think piracy mm -hmm. is such a big deal. Um, and you would know as well. Mm -hmm. You know, you put in so much effort into your art form, mm -hmm. into your creativity. Mm -hmm. You sing from your heart. And to just have people, like, just take it so casually, to mm -hmm. me, that's always been a, a very sad thing. And so I, mm -hmm. I really wish we would do more to actually curb that. Uh, awesome. Then we have Miss P.Y. say, P P Penda Joyce Omondi Sana, what does she apply on her face, always looking so young? 
Oh, dear. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, black don't crack. Uh, yeah. Yes. 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 Nice. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I, I'm a simpleton. I keep everything very simple mm -hmm. from my hair to my skin. Um, so I don't drink as much water as I should, but mm -hmm. I understand that that should really help give you a good glow. Um, so just find something that works for you. Moisturize. Mm -hmm. I never sleep with makeup on. If there's one tip I can say, that would be it. Yeah. Never, ever, ever sleep with makeup on okay or not mm -hmm. sms there's somebody who says joyce you're a very funny introvert another one says joyce is so beautiful please tell her i absolutely love her Aww. and her new show um to, to finalize you could tell us a little bit more about your new show tell our fans watching when it comes and just a little bit um as you mentioned earlier about what's so exciting about it sure so um full circle with joyce airs monday to friday from 8 a.m to 9 a.m and the show is live so it's great Great because we get to get you know audience feedback mm -hmm. and just hear them out so like I mentioned earlier we cover a whole range of topics um, from health to personal development to family relationships parenting um, today for example we were talking about personal finance and just helping young people understand how they can save better invest you know manage their salaries um, and it's just a fun sassy show it has mm -hmm. inspiration to it and I think one of the most um, unique things about this show is it's like a it's actually a faith-based lifestyle show mm -hmm. so I'm able to talk about faith bring that in you know pray on the show sometimes mm -hmm. if need yes. be. Yeah. talk about the scripture um, just you know people want inspiration they want motivation they want positivity in their lives mm -hmm. and uh, full circle with Joyce is the way to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so don't forget to tune in. So guys, we are going on a break and come back to knock on Muli's Zile Masuali Sasa. What is it? Oh, goodness. Zile 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 Welcome back, and you know how we do it. Anytime we have a guest nowadays, ha, yani show squeezing it as much on get you a hashtag, hashtag, hey, hey, hashtag. Hey, the hashtag hey. for today. Episode hey. 2019. Hey. Joyce, hey. <laughs> she has taken my English. Ah. So. Our hashtag today is um, that's the grind, and today we're gonna talk about appreciating the job that you have at the moment, because it's um, in most situations, most people always tend to um have this mentality of like you have a job but you're always like mini me chokas jiski kwenda job ni frustrating you never appreciate but at the end of the day you remember remember that the, the the reason why you're doing that job it's because that job is paying your bills mm -hmm. that job is giving you is a chums otherwise unge kona mkinge ko kona option ya kulelo kosekwenda job sunge lala no kosekwenda job but you need the money so today we are talking about appreciating the job that you have yeah personally yeah. and i appreciate <laughs> opportunity <laughs> so tell us just what do you think um so just before full circle i was actually working because uh, i studied development mm -hmm. so i was working somewhere and still doing music and all these other things um i think one of the main th things to understand is you're actually already at a privileged point mm -hmm. just to have a job yes, mm -hmm. have a you know life is tough for so many people and so many people don't have jobs mm -hmm. and so the fact that you have purpose and you can wake up each morning knowing where you're going mm -hmm. um, you should take that as a gift and um, the other thing for me is you know as now applying my faith is the Bible tells us whatever you do do it as unto the Lord mm -hmm. um, you, you have to remember that God knows the plans that he has for mm -hmm. your life and they're to prosper you not to harm you and so whatever you're seeing perhaps the job is different Difficult. and I've been there I've been in places yeah. where I'm just like oh my goodness you know you're just counting down to yeah. five o'clock or whatever your hours are supposed mm. to be but I think just learn to appreciate that a you are already at a privileged position as Kush is saying I mean you can pay your bills you know because the same person you know if you don't have the money to pay yeah. for that yeah. or if you don't have the money to go to hospital so you know appreciate what you what you're doing and I think Things really do <laughs> come full circle. Mm. I mean, <laughs> I'm wow, that's a good wow. choice. Wow. 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 Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 <laughs> but uh, things really do, I mean, come full circle yeah. because, you know, like I said, my story, it's been six years since I was back on here. Mm. And the show I'm doing really is a dream because mm -hmm. I've been looking at how can I have a platform to talk to young people, yes. to do all these other light, fun things, but still mm. infuse my faith. And this show that I'm doing now is it. So I'm absolutely loving my mm. hashtag Thursday grind. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> 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 
wanted to. Ah, <laughs> no, I know. Why don't you? But of course, it's Ali. What? Yeah, I, I know, right? I know, right? I was like, I, was like, I thought, well, I was like, he's in my chest. Then I thought, hey, who is this? Because you know, I, 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 I don't even know how I'm hacking myself. Because yeah. even me, I'm a very nocturnal person. Mm. Yeah. Even as a Kesha for no reason. Yeah. But so, well, to, I, I have been tested. You have to you, this is a test. Eh? These last four days, girl, I feel like I've been doing this a month. <laughs> I know. But you just adjust and yes. you know, you're able to manage it. Yes. And I'm grateful. Mm. Above all things, I'm yeah. grateful. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about being grateful for your grind. So, Joyce, eh? yes. so there's someone who said, Oh, my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> 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 sing for us. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Yes. yes. Okay, just one line. Okay, okay I'll sing no. the chorus. Okay. A chorus. <laughs> it goes. <laughs> it goes like this. Which? Where do I? Where do I look? That's do your I? camera right there. Okay. King of my heart, lover of my soul, only you can find. I need BGVs. <laughs> Here in <laughs> your <laughs> heart, <laughs> Lord, <laughs> is where all hope is found. <laughs> Cause only you can satisfy Somebody say amen to only you can satisfy Hey run to you You can sing mommy gosh what did I tell you Oh but I've already seen half of the day our higa kiamka <laughs> hey, my friend, who do I want to wake up to that? <laughs> I know, that's amazing. You really can see, though. Thank you. And you yeah. have an amazing, beautiful voice. Mm, CG, that you'll do for us our next theme song <laughs> or one of those things. Do you, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Your voice is really nice. Thank you. And then also, a lot of people, I think, are so inspired by you because um, you've been so humble. And tell me about um, what it does for you, um, especially because you know you are in the gospel world. But then again, you're famous. What's the balance like? Uh, us guys know how we manage it. I know you're married to also a famous <laughs> That's person. the thing. Yeah. How, yeah. how have you managed it, Joyce? It can't be very easy, but you've done it so well. I think one of the things that I live by is to understand that I am blessed to be a blessing. You know, it's not that Joyce is any more special than anybody else mm -hmm. or that any of, of, of us here are more deserving of life and its goodness than anybody else. Mm -hmm. And so when God gives you something, it's mm -hmm. not just supposed to be for yourself. It's supposed to be for you to pour into other people and help uplift them as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for me, maybe my strength is that I have this personality that is somehow allowed to be on television. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. for yeah. someone else, it's that they, the skill of their hands is amazing and we wouldn't have these beautiful sets yeah. if they didn't you know have yeah, that sure. so mm -hmm. i i think god blesses everyone mm -hmm. it's just our blessings look different mm -hmm. and if you're just gonna continually dwell on you know this person has this you, your life is going to be so mm -hmm. miserable yeah. so for me it really comes from that understanding that this is a blessing this is a gift mm -hmm. it's not that i'm better than anybody else and that really helps to keep me grounded and to keep me sober mm -hmm. yeah. awesome there's someone asking um about okay okay but i'll say um how you how you manage like you know um Today we were talking about oversharing mm -hmm. on social media. Mm -hmm. How you manage to balance, you know, yeah. hey guys, I'm at work. Hey guys, you know, uh -huh. the Holy yeah. Spirit. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm at work again. Yeah. How you balance, what, what's your take on oversharing? Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, for me, my, I'm, first of all, I'm introverted. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a very like, <laughs> give me my space type person mm -hmm. so after being around like crowds even when I'm, I'm seeing like thousands of people in an event mm -hmm. there's a time actually i was going backstage during the event because i was just like i just need i just I need 30 seconds <laughs> just to breathe and then yeah. i'll go back out i'm like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but you know i mean so i'm a very private person and it's really because relationships matter so much to mm -hmm. me. So it's not, I'm not looking for validation mm. from, you know, a million people plus. Yes. Um, I know who my circle is. Dang, this word just keeps coming up today. Yeah, I know who my circle, circle is. I know okay. who my support system is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for me, that at the end of the day is what counts. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to just over... The, the problem is too many people are sharing way too much. Like as much as we're all trying to be content creators, mm -hmm. just... Respect yourself, you know, yeah. respect yourself as you do it. Mm -hmm. And above it all, like when it comes to family, 
protect the people yes. that you love because yeah. the truth is as much as there are people who are like your fans and everything not everybody is happy for you yeah. and you need to be able to apply wisdom and understand by the way this needs to be a boundary for me so mm -hmm. for us you know now i'm married you know to Ahiga, who is you know very mm -hmm. famous and accomplished mm -hmm. very accomplished in his mm -hmm. own right and um marriage is is work yeah. mm -hmm. but it works and we can't have a working marriage if we have a million and one voices That's in true. it as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people want to see everything, but mm. and it's just the two of you. Mm. Nobody is going to be there coming That's to tell you anything. <laughs> or how you raise your kids mm. or how you run your relationship. Mm -hmm. So for us, this that's just how we choose to do mm. it. I mean, that's my precious thing mm -hmm. and he's my precious thing. So no way. Um, oh my uh, gosh, why are we like <laughs> <laughs> So you an mean, event that you changed your life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, wow. Um, the one that almost immediately comes to mind is... A lot of people don't know this, but I never wanted to be a musician. I never wanted mm -hmm. to sing and be an artist and all really? these other mm -hmm. things. I've been singing and playing the piano since I was six years old, but I was very happy to do it in church. Yeah. Um, then in 1998, my dad was actually in the bomb blast mm -hmm. and uh, he ended up very seriously injured um, and it basically changed the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. um, so he was in and out of hospital all through my high school mm -hmm. and it forced me to mature pretty quickly. Mm. So I remember when I was leaving to go to the States now for college, he had just had an accident at home, uh, just some complications and he had to be in for surgery, emergency surgery, the day I was leaving. So, you know, Ooh. we're coming on our way to the airport to Napitia Hospital, like, mm -hmm. okay, bye dad, I'm leaving yeah, now. Really, and yeah. I was just so confused. Mm -hmm. but. Somehow, when I came back, um, that, thank God that was the last time that he was in hospital. Mm -hmm. And so then suddenly the songs just started coming. And that's where my mm -hmm. first single, Conqueror, mm -hmm. came from. That's just saying that, that like, I'm a conqueror, yeah, yeah. that I can do all things yeah. through Christ yeah. who strengthens yeah. me. And it was really inspired by yeah. that experience. I am a conqueror, <laughs> conqueror, <laughs> conqueror. <laughs> conqueror. Yeah. Hey. You are so inspirational. Oh yeah. my gosh. Mm -hmm. um, to end the show, the three of us here, give us some inspiration. You yeah. know, we can always have learned something from you. Um, and then, of course, this also will go out to our fans and then we'll wrap up the show. Inspire us, girl. Oh, mm -hmm. dear. Well, I mean, first of all, congratulations to you Thank guys. You. Thank you. For the Congrats amazing work you that you're too. doing. Beautiful ladies, beautiful Thank voices. You. Keep up with what you're doing. I think for me, the first thing I'd tell anybody is just to put God first. Mm. To me, he's my sense. He's what makes my life have meaning. Um, so put yourself first. Love other people. Um, and remember that your actions will have consequences. And those mm. consequences determine the circumstances mm. of your life. Mm. So, um, you know, just do you. Uh, be kind. Be loving. The world needs it. The yes. world needs it, it so badly. Yes. Yes. And I think especially as women seated at this table, I think it's so important for us to be good role models. Yes. And to actually be an example that you know the generations behind mm -hmm. us can follow oh, so, so own that much. and own that truth that was so amazing oh, oh that you are, inspiring you are we... so inspiring oh, i God, just we were we were up early enough you guys